to the SEC on ESPN. We're inside Rupp Arena for the number one ranked Kentucky Wildcats taking on the defending MAC East champion Buffalo Bulls, led by head coach Bobby Hurley, also 1-0 to start the season. Bend to the floor, but Dorian Finney-Smith uh, with a little hairline fracture in his wrist. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he's able to go in that game. And then today announced Dylan Graham, a reserve on the team, is going to transfer out. So not a deep team right now for Billy Donovan, uh, but a very good, good game for Lyles. Team, both of them right there around the rim. You are correct as usual, Mr. Farnham. Four points for the freshman Lyles. And we're going to have a foul on Buffalo that's going to go on number 35, Xavier Ford. Get into them early. You're the one that has to initiate the contact to keep them away from the rim. Devin Booker at the line. He knocks down his first free throw. Another Gatorade player of the year. Another McDonald's All-American. One in nine this year for and, Coach Cal. And his first point in games that count. Uh, he's yet to make a field goal, but his first two points now is a Kentucky Wildcat. First two of what will be many, many points. He is an outstanding shooter. His fast break early offense looks for the Wildcats. Euless first shot attempt. Good. And you go under the screen, and Tyler Euless can make you pay from the outside. A nice job by the freshman to step into that one. Booker for three. In and out. Offensive rebound by Lyles, a fresh 35 for Kentucky. Great energy by Lyles coming all the way from the weak side, and these fans are wanting to get on their feet, wanting to make noise right now for the Wildcats. Euless, top of the third key for three again. Fast break point. And you saw the faces on the bench of the blue platoon. They are not pleased, to say the least. Here's Marcus Lee, first dunk of the game. Active in their half-court sets. Here's Lyles from the wing. Good start for KUK. Well, and made baskets allow you to get in your press. Your press can get you into turnovers. Turnovers can lead to fast break points. And there's the turnover you speak of. Lyles! Evans leaves it for Moss. Moss strong to the hole, but can't get it to go. Now you got to sustain this energy, and it'll be interesting to see how the blue unit comes off the bench. There's Johnson. Misses from close range. He's missed a lot around the rim in the early stage of the season. Euless. That's three three-pointers for number three. And that's what happens if you, if you don't necessarily know where you are. You're trying to force the offense a little bit. They're trying to attack Moss and get him in further foul trouble. Now there's five on the shot clock. Euless tries from three. Yes! Tyler Euless, a deep three, his fourth of the afternoon. And they're trying to set the screens, but Devin Booker is trailing Skeet wherever he is on the floor. Nice job by Booker sticking with him. Nice take by Evans, but it comes up the rim. Up ahead, transition. Booker! I mean, Tyler Euless's control of the game has been a calming force throughout. No turnovers. He gets his hands on it defensively. He's knocked down perimeter shots. And he's hit four three-pointers this afternoon, too. Gets it back from Johnson, knocks it down. That's the execution I'm talking about. You, you, all of a sudden, you start playing better at the defensive end of the floor, it bleeds over to the offense instead of letting it. And the lid has been put on the basket for these Buffalo Bulls. No field goals in the last seven minutes. Moss had to alter his shot just by virtue of Dakari Johnson being in the neighborhood. Three minutes to go as Kentucky looks to move on to 2-0 in advance of their game Tuesday night against Kansas. 20-3 run from the Wildcats over the last 10 minutes. Now with eight to shoot, Willie Cauley-Stein finishes. Moss thought about it. No good, Lyles the rebound. Hey! 
Counting down to two minutes to go. Kentucky will improve to 2-0, and but it was not quite as easy as many would have imagined. There's Booker off the curl. That might be the biggest positive for Kentucky in the second. Over to Indianapolis for a Tuesday night showdown. From showdown to throwdown for Trey Lyles. And it will benefit them over the long haul, just as Kentucky will. Kentucky has to learn from this experience and get better. The attention to detail has to be much cleaner. Your final score, number one Kentucky 71, Buffalo 52. That's it for us here at Rupp Arena. Now let's send you to Cary, North Carolina for the ACC Men's Soccer Championship.